Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an update. I haven't filmed the video in a couple of months. I really haven't had a lot to film, which is a lie because I have a lot going on in my life. But this update is going to be for the twins, Monique and David. Um, so let's get started. I decided to make this um, the main thing that you see first because I'm actually going to let you guys know that officially today... I don't know what the day is. I should look it up. Um, oh, okay. It is January 23rd, 2020. Monique has officially finished Alpha Phonics. We have been working with Alpha Phonics since last year in October, I think we started. Maybe even September. I'm pretty sure it was September. But we are officially done with the curriculum for both kids. Um, just to show you guys, this is... The last lesson was 128. Don't worry about that thing in the bottom. But David finished um, November 5th, 2019. And Nikki finished today. Um, this is insane to me. Because, like, this is... Let me actually take this off. Um, okay, this is where they started. Like, we started off sounding out words, two-letter words. That's insane to me that this is where we started a year ago. And if I can show you guys the last page. And this is where we ended today with Monique. Like, I don't know if that's not insane to you guys, but it's totally insane to me that you can teach a child to read in a year and they'll be reading like this. Um, just because the child is reading words like this does not mean that they're reading, because a lot of these words are like, um, what's it called? I don't know what the word is. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, um, a lot of these words are like, you know, usually for like middle school, like the beginning of middle school. Um, that's when like, no, like around four, fifth and sixth grade, this is where like kids will start like really getting into these words. And then I have a first grade, two first graders that can read like this. It's insane to me. Um, so yeah, we have finished Alpha Phonics, which is insane to me. Like I said, we are officially done um, with David. We were done a while back ago. I do want to let you guys know that we are technically not done with Nikki. Um, she still has to do her deck um, kind of reviewing. This is a big deck. But this is kind of reviewing everything that um, lesson 118 to 128 covered. As well, they read like these little stories as well. So she'll read that and she'll do this deck of cards um, this week sometime. So let's move this to the side. Excuse me. Let's talk about language arts. Um, we are still working through the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts Level 1. Monique is in lesson 44. Which is focusing on other sounds of OW and OU. And David is like in the back of lesson 44. Um, which is the same thing. Uh, we, like I say, we take this pretty slow. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. But we take this really slow. Um, I don't rush it. A lot of like people, not a lot of people, but most people would do, mo would do like a whole lesson. Or would do multiple lessons. Um, sorry. For me... This, I just do, like, a couple little boxes. You know, I don't push it because we have the whole year. And this is an advanced curriculum. This is actually um, meant for second. This is, like, advanced first grade slash second grade curriculum. So even if we don't finish it during the first grade year, we'll finish it through the summer. Because the kindergarten one that we did last year, we actually finished it in the summer. Um, yeah, we actually finished it in the summer, and then we started this one. So, I am not in a rush to finish this. Like I said, um, we are going to take our time because this is a pretty, you know, language arts is something that you want your child to really grasp all the concept concepts. So, that's that. Now, let's talk about math for David. I don't know what the last update was. I don't know what he was doing for math, but right now, he is back in Abeka. I'm pretty sure in the last update, we were doing... Singapore, we did Singapore book one. Well, we finished that. Um, and now he's in lesson 119. And he's doing really, really good. He had a little moment where he was struggling with the clock. Um, but he's doing really good. Um, this is what tomorrow's lesson will go over. So, there you go. And for Monique, she is actually going to be finishing um, the her math for first grade. 
Um, she is doing Horizons, and we are in less than 155. I think there's a hundred and something. What? How many lessons? Let's actually look. Uh, okay, one second. Okay, there's 160. Let me cover some stuff. There's 160 lessons in um, Horizons bulk for first grade and this is her lesson for tomorrow which is 155 and this is what she'll be working on she struggled a lot during the beginning like the first book this is the second book but she struggled quite a bit like she didn't have a really good grasp in math like it wasn't working for her and i was really scared that i had to go and spend a bunch of more money on a curriculum but book two like no actually no like in the middle ending of mm, ending of book one she actually just like skyrocketed she still had a couple of problems but like she just went straight up like especially in book two she's doing an amazing job she's grasping everything which is so good and actually this huge pile here is books that i've been looking through to see what i'm going to give her as a sort of review because we're not fully homeschooling they do attend school um i didn't want for them to What's it called? Um, I didn't want for her to do a second grade curriculum and then be so ahead that school's boring to her. So we're just going to be reviewing a lot. I have a bunch of math workbooks that she'll review. Um, same with David when he finishes Rebecca. We're going to just review things um, in the workbook. I think the one that I'm going to get have her do... I got this one like last year. is Common Core Math for Today, Daily Skills Practice, Grade 1. So I think I'm going to do this one. This is David's. Um, but this is like a week. So usually we'll split this between a couple of days. But because she's already at way past all of this, this is just going to be real. So she's going to do this. And the front. So this is 40 days. So she's going to be working on this for 40 days, I think. I may change my mind. But we're doing that. For reading, she's in level 2. I don't know what level she was before in my last update. Um, maybe she was in level two, maybe she was in level one. I have no idea. I don't remember. I should watch the video, but she's in level two. Um, we've been going through level two, a lot of different books in level two. Um, here is her little pile. I actually just ordered a bunch of level two books in the library that I will have to pick up this week. David, David, David is in level three, um, and he's doing a really good job. They're both, um, reading independently. It's really rare that they ask for help because these books are super easy for them, so they don't really ask for help, and when they do, it's, like, words that they don't, that they, excuse me, that is, I just have to tell them, like, a little bit, um, like, a, not a little bit, but I have to explain to them sometimes that, you know, certain sounds can make certain other sounds, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, he's in level three. Um, he's doing a really good job. As you see, this is his stack. It's a lot bigger. Um, so he has done a couple of chapter books. And in the beginning, again, I don't know what the update, the last update was. But he did a lot. He read a couple of chapter books. And we have gone through so many books. Like, a lot. We read a lot. Every single day, they read one book. And usually, the books range like that. Oops. This is the type of books that he's reading, just to let you guys know, just in case you're interested. But here's the books that he's reading. If you want me to make a video, um, just an update library haul to show you guys some of the books that they have picked up for them, let me know. So that's that. So just to give you guys another, you know, overview, Monique and David both finished Alpha Phonics. We're still working on The Good and the Beautiful. Monique is actually going to be done next week on Wednesday with her first grade Horizons math. Um, and then we'll just do review. Um, David is con still continuing to work on a Becca. He has a, he, there's 170 lessons, I think. So we we're, we're still have a, lot, a while to go. We're still doing pretty good in reading. We're doing really good in it. Um, oh, I started teaching on a child, but I'm not going to update you guys on that. In this video, I may make a whole separate video just updating you guys on it. This mainly is for Monique and David's update. And I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, something I may have missed. Oh, sorry. Another thing is that I am taking a break from handwriting, from writing overall. We have taken a break, I think, since like the last week of 
December, we have not done any type of handwriting. The reason why is because they do get handwriting in school, and their handwriting is actually pretty good, so it's not like a big deal for me, but I will be picking it back up in February. Um, the reason I took a break is because we, I really just want to mainly focus on language arts, reading, and math, so that's why we took a little bit of a break, but we will continue to work on that. Um, that's just another update thing that we have done. Um, oh, there's so much thing comes coming into my head now. Um, I have been looking a lot through curriculum for the kids' second grade um, curriculum. I have decided what I'm going to go for for math for Monique and for math for David, as well as language arts. I already know what I'm going to go for. Um, you guys already know because, obviously, I love the good and the beautiful. Should I update you guys here what I'm going to use? Maybe? I don't know. I'm going to make a video, so I'm just going to let you know now. If you watch this video to the end, you'll know what I'm going to use for second grade. So, for Monique, I'm going to use Horizon. So, at first, I was kind of skeptical of picking Horizon because she was not that she was not doing that good in Horizon.